it's something about a VW Beetle. So many people have some kind of a connection with this particular vehicle. It's so many people's first car, and it just evokes warmth and memories and nostalgia. And even in the shape, I mean, it has these beautiful curves. It's not muscular, it's not aggressive. It's, if you could give a car a hug, you'd want to give a VW Beetle a hug. And I think that gets to the core of who Bumblebee is. Bumblebee's always been a character that has a lot of heart. He's a character that seems like he might have an interesting story to tell. And I think for a lot of us, he's our favorite in the franchise. When I would go to my friend's house and play with the Transformers toys, Bumblebee was my favorite character for sure. I love Bumblebee. He's always been one of my favorite characters. He's just so relatable and fun and warm, and you just want him to be your buddy. <laughs> Look at you go. Man, you got some moves. Bumblebee is always my favorite Transformer. He's not the biggest or most powerful Transformer, but his vulnerability gives him character. And the yellow, it's very 80s, it's cool. Bumblebee shows just like a crazy amount of charisma. Always, he's always like funny without saying much since he doesn't <laughs> really talk. I'm just happy that we're able to see this origin of him and we get to see more of what made him the Bumblebee that we know and love from the previous movies. Is that why you're always messing with the dial? You're trying to teach yourself how to talk, aren't you? Dude, you're a genius. The audience resonates with Bumblebee because he's an underdog. He's a warrior, an absolute warrior in a very small frame. But he always tries to make these personal connections with the people he's protecting. Oh, who, me? Who am I? I think it's so incredible that we, we basically get to go back in time with Bumblebee and see where he came from and see him in his original form. Go, go, go! Bumblebee as a character first appeared in the comic books of May 1984. It was the pilot issue. He appeared on Cybertron. He came to Earth, rescanned as a Volkswagen Beetle. But then later that year, uh, 1984, in the fall, the animated series debuted. That just blew the doors open. You have Bumblebee and Wheeljack. They're stealing Energon on the planet Cybertron. So right out of the gate, you get Bumblebee. He's like one of the first characters as a Transformers fan you see. And all of those memories that you have of seeing Transformers coming to life in animation have been really brought to life in a totally amazing way on the big screen. To see Bumblebee as he was, as a VW Bug, was just so compelling. You know, we got a tease of that in one of the early movies, in the first movie, and yet now is our opportunity to really play it through. Bumblebee has a distinctive look that's been honed on the previous Transformers films, but with the design on this film, we wanted to make sure that we did something that felt more evocative of the 80s Transformers design, something that was more planar, something that had more plates, like all the little gears and gizmos that uh, didn't look like, you know, if Charlie were to put her hand on Bee's chest, that her hand would get ground up in a gear. What are you? The VW Beetle itself, it has curves. It's kind of a warmer, gentler shape. Great. Helpful shame spiral, B. This particular model was kind of like the perfect example of the, of the VW of the period. It was kind of the classic VW, and even the, the hardcore VW fans will agree, I think, that that was the best representation of that model. Well, they have eight Volkswagens, and I was just thinking in my head, like, this is Bumblebee. And I just imagine it, like, just transforming. <laughs> you need to either. Why do you need eight cars? It's hard to get a car to do all the things we're asking it to do, and it complicates matter if you're asking it to do more than one thing, and so it starts multiplying on itself. And, you know, when you also think about it, is if, if a Bumblebee doesn't show up on that day that's working, we're dead. It's Haley and Bumblebee, and if either one of them don't show up, we're in trouble. We had, like, different beetles, some that could drive, some were just shells, some had a driver on top of the roof. The weirdest thing was we have to drive it sometimes or someone's driving on top and we don't really got control of the car. We're trying to stop and the car is still going. It's really dangerous, <laughs> it feels like in there. It is a little top heavy. It's, it's a little weird to drive. This is the first Volkswagen I've ever seen with a pod on the roof of it, but uh, it's definitely uh, a little pirate ship when you're driving it, but we put it through its paces, it's safe. This is my first time driving stick, uh, and I want to say it was easy, but when you have like a million other things to think about, including like not killing the people in front of you and hitting the mark and like saying your lines, it was very difficult. So I might say that my favorite one to drive was the electric one. We knew that the talent was going to be a younger generation, and 
younger generations don't always know how to drive stick shift. So we came up with the idea of building an electric car, which is super simple to drive. And she caught on to it really quick. We also had some driving lessons with a normal stick shift car, and she actually does really well with that. So that's a good, it's a good backup just in case, but she definitely prefers to drive this car and, and it makes everyone's life a little easier. And then the rest of the cars are puppet cars. They rig some of the cars for the shifter to move on its own, so you can actually stand behind the vehicle and move the shift lever like a robot would be doing it. It's really been cool to be in these cars that feel like they are from and of their time. Being able to take the time in a film where it's not filled with dozens and dozens of awesome robots, but it's just this one character that we're able to focus in on. We really get to understand who Bumblebee is and why people love him.